Hello everyone, Johnny here. Today in this session, we will try to learn about how to generate a QR code using JavaScript. For example, I have a QR code here. Whenever uh, I am trying to type something, I am trying to give Johnny tutorials. It should be able to get, get, get this QR code. You can see anywhere in the uh, lanes also, like uh, Paytm, the QR code. Now, for example, you have a mobile number. I want to generate a QR code. Then you can use this app. Let us write the code for this snippet. First, let me define a form where it will try to accept some user input. And uh, when user clicks on the submit button, it should be able to generate the QR code for it. So let us take a form as well as some button and the QR code should be able to display. In this session, I am trying to use an external library that is QR code dot QR code JS. So I am trying to download this. I am trying to download this. You can just use this URL. In this, from this, I am just trying to extract. I am just trying to extract the file. You can use this URL. I'm just trying to use an external code here. That is an external library. In this, I should be able to use only one file that is QR code dot min dot JS. I'm just trying to use this. I'm just trying to place in my workspace. Remember, we are trying to download this from, from this QR code dot JS. Only one zip file from that zip file we will get QR code dot js I am trying to use minimized version for generating it now let us write the code for this I am trying to take a form in this form I am just trying to take an input field in this input field id is input id is input placeholder enter something or type something sorry enter term something or type something and I just want to give a ID here in order to read the value of generated input field can you see here we got an input field now now I should able to get some button here input type equals to button as I'm trying to take an event here I'm trying to get button input type equals to button ID equals to Oh, we have taken two IDs here. Uh, le uh, one ID is enough here. ID uh, here I, I will try to take generate. Generate value equals to generate QR code. Generate QR code. On click equals to QR generate. I am trying to take a function here. We can use uh, using uh, add event listener also, but we are trying to take in this way. We got two things. I just want to define this everything in a new line. I'm just trying to use a div in order to separate this as a block level element. We got this. We got input field. Now I just want to close this form. In this, I should be able to display the value of it like what are the QR code we have generated I want to display the value here to the down once the user has typed something when the user clicked on this generate QR code I should able to get some output snippet here so I have taken QID equal to this one now I have taken a JS file so the file name is QR code min.js so let me include we include the external JavaScript in this way we have discussed in the very beginning session of uh, JS. You can find the link below the description part for basics. We have used the external JS. Now, this is only the thing. In this, I am trying to write the snippet. In this, we are trying to write the snippet. So, first thing we have taken an input field. Next one, we have taken a button. And next one, we are trying to display the output in the line number 13. In the sense, the QR part. Now let me write the snippet for this. So in order to write the snippet, I'm trying to define the function. The function name is QR generate here. As we have taken in line number 11, Q 
SQR generate. First, I would like to read the value of an input field. In order to read the value of an input field, we have a DOM method called document.getElementById. As we are trying to read the element based upon this ID, we are, I'm trying to use this. I'm trying to write user input equals to document dot get element by id so what is the id we have input here input dot value sorry value so now whatever the input the user has given it will be stored in the variable of user input now i want to make sure um, i should be able to generate this qr code so i'm trying to write qr code qr code in this QR code, in this QR code, first one we will try to pass the value of what we have written. We will try to pass the value of what we have written. So here we will try to pass the value. We will try to pass the value here, user input. So let me pass the user input here. So instead of string, let me pass in this way, user input. But it should be able to display something here. Document dot get element by id id name is qr 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 now if we can see here let me refresh i am trying to write johnny here generate again i am trying to write johnny here generate see i am getting the same code again and again it is trying to overlap in order to make sure that it should not be overlapped the previous uh, output should be erased i am trying to write the document dot get element by id of qr to empty inner html equals to inner html equals to empty so that when the user has given the, the same input uh, sorry uh, johnny i'm trying to type johnny here see i'm trying to type again johnny here we got tutorials some word some word i'm trying to type Again, I'm trying to take some random word. We got it. See, this is how we got. But uh, if you can understand this one, this way is the thing we, which we are trying to use. First one is the ID where we want to display. Next one is the user input where we want to read. Where this uh, this line number 20 will have, it is working based upon this JS library, the QR code. Now, I want to define this in the, uh, I, would, I just want to apply basic CSS for it. I just want to apply the basic CSS for it. So let me go into the CSS part. CSS part. I just want to include it here. Link CSS forward slash style dot CSS. I have included the CSS. For this first one, I'm trying to take input type equal to. I'm trying to use an attribute selector here. First one, input type equal to text border. I want to take everything in a blue color. Border radius. Height. I'm just trying to increase the height of it. Width. Width of the input field next color I just want to change the color next one outline I just want to change this outline color to green so I have taken this let me check the you got an input field here for the same thing I'm just trying to take for the input type button now input type button for this input type button we are trying to take the same color we are trying to take the same color here I just want to reduce the size I just want to reduce the width of it and uh, color white text color white margin top some 20 pixel in order to get some gap outline color we got it so I just want to apply background color now 
background color would be the same background color you got the value here but I just want to make sure that it should also be aligned in a linear way now we have what I'm trying to do is just I want to apply some body for the body I want to apply some flex display flex flex wrap height 400 pixel justify content space evenly margin top 100 pixel so we got this thing so let, let us check the output of this snippet now can you see here I am trying to type Johnny tutorials so we have given colors for everything so based upon the value it is trying to change for example I have written YouTube we got some QR code so this is how we have done with a basic example in this tutorial we have just worked on uh, basic snippet like how to create an input field we have created an input field we have created a function once the user clicks on it the function will come here and uh, it will try to execute the block of statements we are trying to read the value using document.getElementById here we are trying to why did, we, why did I use this line because uh, when the user is typing again and again it is trying to come down in the sense the uh, uh, QR code is getting down in order to initialize this to the empty value because whatever the user has generated this QR code it will be displayed in this it will be displayed in the line number 13 that is beside to it so here uh, we are initialized with the empty so that whatever the code we got it will try to erase and the user new input will be displayed there for this I have used some properties of attribute selectors in order to get this color nothing more so this is how we have done with a basic simple example of a QR code using how we have done with this session uh, now uh, you can just scan this QR code and let, let me know what is the output you got you can just comment below this video. Thank you.